perceptions. Perceptions create our reality and, and here's how that comes to pass. Our past experiences basically get hardwired into our neurology in a, through our senses. So through our, what we hear, what we see, what we smell, what we taste, what we intuit, and also what we say to ourselves. And the problem is if we're not getting what we want, if we're not getting the outcomes and the results that we want, it's because when we get emotionally triggered, like a significant emotional event takes place in our lives, we develop these neural pathways and neural pathways that fire together, wire together. What does that mean? <laughs> it means that once they connect based on our senses, then they re-fire or re-trigger in the future based on what it is that we're experiencing in the now. And essentially what that does is it drags our past into our now, creating our future. So let me unpack that. Let's say you want more money. Let's say whatever it is that's going on in your finances, you want more money. Now, for some of you, that might be, I want more money because I'm struggling. <laughs> for others, it might be, I want more money for this you know, really great project. I wanna fund the growth of my company, my business. Um, I wanna create you know, a second home or a greater home for my family, whatever the driver is. The point is, is that when you want something more and something greater, that you don't have any experience with, then you have to actually create an as if process in your senses. So you have to go to what to to a as if process in terms of what you visualize. Then you need to go to an as if process in terms of what you feel and what you intuit. And you have to go to an as if process in terms of your self talk and what you say to yourself. And you need to do it in such a way that it feels so solid and so real that it actually creates and fires neural pathways that bind together and then as you move forward in your future as you move forward in your behavior that's that's action items to create your future then those neural pathways get triggered again and again and again and hence a new behavior or a new habit or a new belief system gets formed within your mind, your body, your brain, you know, every cell of your body becomes that. And that's where that saying be, do, have comes from. First, we have to be energetically the thing that it is that we are seeking to have and experience. Then from that place, energetically, emotionally, mentally in our thoughts, and especially in our feelings and through our intuitive guidance, then we get guided as to what to do. With that in place, now we've got an alignment, we've got a synergy happening. With that in place, then we go about taking the action steps that are a byproduct of what it is that we decided that it that we want to have. And it can only work that way because for those of you that are still doing the old paradigm of, let me grind this out, let me push a little harder, let me struggle some more, you could really completely cut yourself some slack and give yourself a break by getting into a place of being first. And that's an aligned space. So it requires shutting off the ego. It requires 
no longer looking outside of yourself for permission to be great. It really is about going within 15 minutes a day, doesn't have to be like this long term. In fact, it doesn't, you don't want it to be longer because then you, it becomes counterproductive. You know, we're not designed to sit around and meditate for hours every day. I'm just asking from you for 15 minutes a day, because what that does is it starts to quiet the ego, quiet the part of your mind that is still running that perception from the past and taking that past reality and living it in the moment energetically for it then to show up in the future. You see, we create our own reality and that's exactly how it happens. Like you can, you're creating your own reality every single nanosecond. The question is what reality are you creating? Are you creating more of what you've already lived? and uh, the limitations of that, or the smallness of that, or the struggle of that? Or are you creating this life that you desire by actually getting into alignment with the feelings of that life, and then staying connected to that with repetition? Because it really does take repetition, you know, it's like, we can change a new habit. We can install a new habit through repetition. And it could be anywhere from three repetitions, seven repetitions, 21 repetitions, and anywhere in between, you know, and depending on how connected you are to the feeling of that new reality will determine how many repetitions it requires for you to create and develop that new habit, that new result, that new pattern. Because at the end of the day, it's, it's like this process and it happens really quickly. It sounds slow, but it does. It happens very quickly. So first you get into this alignment phase and that's, you know, through the meditation on a daily basis. And then two, you get into this space of guidance. It's okay. It's like, I'm being told, call this person, go to the store, talk to this person, make this email. And from it, then the synergy comes. And then with that synergistic energy, it creates more of those neural pathways that then can actually function just with your desire saying, this is what I would like today. This is my intention for today. This is the growth of my, my, my company and my, my resources today. And then you take the action, the inspired action, inspiration in inspired action that then produces cumulatively did I say that right? Cumulatively <laughs> produces the results that you are seeking. So, you know, most of us, I suppose, have been brought up in environments where things were hard or there was lack or limitation or, or difficult to come uh, to be able to, to be the person you wanted to be or to think the way you wanted to think or live the way you wanted to live. You know, that's the beauty of coming from, um, uh, a background where, you know, it's not all handed to you is because you get to actually develop yourself and take ownership of what it is that you are choosing to create. So perception is reality, you know, what we perceive we can achieve. And it really is about getting into the perceptions that you want to create in your life. When it comes to your business, it's not any different from who it is that you're being as a person It's like, what are you perceiving is possible, you know? What else is possible? What is it that you are perceiving is possible? And then 
how are you ingraining that or integrating that into your focus, your intention, your goals for the day, week, month, quarter, into the future, you see? So, you know, it's a good idea to really learn how these patterns and of perception from the past get brought forward over and over and over without us really even realizing that we're doing it. You know, usually it is a unconscious process. It's an unconscious behavior. So, um, well, let's see, what else did I want to say? Ah, uh, yes, that you can repattern them anytime you want. And, and, you know, if you go back and you rewatch this, I did show you how already, but I'll state it again. It's about number one, getting into alignment. How do you get into alignment? You, you teach yourself to meditate every single day. And so what you have to realize about meditation is there's no right way and there's no wrong way. So when you sit down, it's so easy, just sit down, put on a timer for 15 minutes, maybe 20, and maybe put on a fan, or if you've got a white noise app on your phone, just put it on and listen to something that doesn't distract you. And focus on your breath and put your attention into your body. One of the things that's really useful is you can, you know, you can put your hand over your heart because when you touch yourself, you go internal to that space. So when you're putting your hand over your heart, you have a tendency to connect deeply into your heart. And the heart has an intelligence, which is a whole other video. But when you tap into that thinking mind within your heart, you're really tapping into the source being of who you are. And with that quieting of the mind, with that pulling yourself from the outer world back in touch with your inner self, then you step into a reality or to an energy. It's pretty hard to describe, you know, it's like you have to experience it. Like you have to actually do it. So you know what I'm talking about because words don't teach experience does. And then while you're in that place, and you just focus on your breath. If a thought comes up, just label it thinking, wipe the screen and go back to not thinking. And it's a practice, you know, it's like riding a bike. It's like driving a car. It's like building big biceps. It's like anything you do in your life, it's a practice and you get better and better at it. Some days, you won't be so good at it and, you, and you'll be just like, why am I sitting here? And then other days you'll be totally nailing it. So don't judge, you know, it's okay. However you do it, it's just fine. And then from that place, realize that you can create new perceptions by using all of your senses, what you see, what you hear, what you smell, what you taste, what you touch and what you intuit. And you can have a little workshop with yourself, bring one of your goals into that workshop and actually dial into it, tune into it, act as if, what would it feel like to live that life? What would it sound like to be recognized for that award? What would your life look like to be in that dream house or to have that supercar? What does it feel like? What does it feel like to be the creator of your own reality and to no longer think that anyone outside of you or anything dictates or determines what you can be, do, or have? How does that feel? I bet that feels really good. So go play with this, practice this 21 day challenge. Drop me a message leave me a message. I want to know how you're doing with this. And also make sure you hit the subscribe button. It's either on the right or the left. And the little bell will tell you the next time I upload a really cool video. All right, you guys have a blessed day. This is Deborah Peters for The Deborah Peters Show. And 
Really looking forward to hearing back from you as to how this is helping you. Take care. Bye.